taking an out of world trip at Kosai. Meredith got a behind the scene look at the fun your family can have before the kids go back to school. The kids are still out of school. I know we're not there just yet. However, to keep them still excited about space and STEM, I thought what better way than us going to COSI and finding something a little bit out of this world. Joe Wood is joining us from COSI. So what are we going to look into right now? We're going to take a journey into space here in our space exhibition. So. All right, so let's see what some of the exhibits look like. Yeah, so, you know, we think uh, that space uh, and dinosaurs, those are like the two things that get people interested to learn more about science. Sure. So here in our space exhibit, we have some displays. Go ahead and push the button for us oh, here. I get, to, I get to actually like, We're going to go launch a launch. rocket. All yep. right, here we go. So now I think this display is cool because it's just a two liter pop bottle, but it's showing us the principles of, of rocketry, how we get these rockets into space. So it's filling with air. Four, three, two, one, blast off. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. It, and we, you can hear people uh, all over going, well, what was that? And then trying to go and find this. So yeah, you got the air is pushing down out of the nozzle of the rocket. It's going that direction and so the rocket goes up. Now, normally, the rockets that we use to get into space are, they're burning something. Wow. But this is the same principle. That's really exciting. With an everyday material. So then when we get into space, what are the kind of things we can do? I was gonna say, because we learn about space all the time. Yeah. And the Perseverance Mars rover, actually. Yeah. We just saw, we had the helicopter, Ingenuity was on Mars. Yeah. But there's actually a real life display that you can yep. see up close, kind of to scale of what it would look like on the moon. Yeah. But I think the best part, as we know, is actually giving it a test drive, which right. you can do here at COSI. Yeah, so, you know, we have the display downstairs. You can see the full size size uh, model of the rover, but it's COSI. We're a hands-on science museum. So here, you could test your hand at driving a rover uh, on this simulated Martian surface. And then over, you can also, we also have a video simulator um, with the, uh, the Perseverance rover, or you can actually like switch views and uh, drive the Ingenuity helicopter. You can test some soil samples. Um, oh my, this is really cool. Yeah, so you're going to drill into the rocks and take a sample and scan it. It's pretty cool. So we got a little bit about like some of the physics of space exploration with the rocket launch, then some of more of the like current science with our Mars rovers over here. And then as we keep going through the exhibit, we can see some other things like our uh, space station. A space station. Okay, that sounds really cool, especially with our astronauts that are up there. I know yeah. we're working on decommissioning the space station actually at the end of the decade, but yeah. this is it. Wow, this looks like the real deal. We, our space exhibition's got a little bit of like a, you know, kind of like a retro futuristic feel here with uh, the signage, but yeah, we've got some information about what it's like to live on the space station. Get some um, real artifacts, learn a little bit of things about, like some of the things you maybe don't think about, like what do the astronauts eat and stuff like that. There's even a space toilet over there. Oh my gosh, so this <laughs> is what we would eat in space. It's not your typical normal. They've come a long way since the like food tubes of the okay. Apollo program. Um, Salt and pepper in space? Yep. What happens if you lose it, or maybe the particles are different up in space? And it has to usually have to be something that's like a gel or something like that. But like hot sauce is very popular in space because um, the uh, being in that uh, environment does kind of tend to deaden your taste buds a little bit, apparently. All right, before we wrap this up, I have to show everybody the toilet in space because you always wonder, well, where do you go to the bathroom? And you can see it right here. Yep. Can I sit on it or no? If that's up to you. That's what it's for. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think it's just kind of like these everyday wow, things. Oh, it's just like going to the bathroom. It would just be like at home. So <laughs> A little bit. Minus the, minus the gravity. <laughs> well, this is really cool. No pun intended. So thanks so much, Joe. And this is just one example of how you can keep your kids engaged when we talk about STEM and space here across Central Ohio.